In this part of central Tanzania, the cows and the tribes live a quiet life. There are no bulls to disturb the peace. The community doesn't need them. They have this, frozen semen. Morocco conducts 30 inseminations a month in six villages. He's one of around 50 inseminators trained under projects operated by the International Atomic Energy Agency, the IAEA. If I buy bulls and transport them around the district, it's quite expensive and the logistics are tricky. It's less work to distribute the semen. This centre is a place where the semen is collected. It's home to 29 prime bulls of various breeds and origins. The artificial vagina technique uses a dummy in place of a cow, most commonly a live bull. From just one ejaculation, 200 doses for artificial insemination can be produced. Controls need to be conducted to determine the quality of the semen. It's then diluted and filled into straws. These are frozen and contained in liquid nitrogen. This means they can be easily transported and stored for many years without the need of electricity. 87,000 Maasai live in this area. Before they started using the technique, they had to depend on the indigenous cattle. These were of low quality, they grew slowly and produced little milk. If you use artificial insemination, you can use that bull to inseminate more than 100,000 cows in a year, even 500,000. After insemination, it's important for the farmers to know at an early stage if it's worked or not. A nuclear technique known as a radioimmunoassay, or RIA for short, is a kind of pregnancy test which can be conducted just three weeks after artificial insemination. With conventional methods, the farmers need to wait for up to two months. By using progesterone labelled with a radioactive isotope, the level of the cow's own hormone can be determined. The levels of progesterone are key in pregnancy testing. The IAEA has supported nearly 90 countries, including Tanzania, in the use of these techniques. Livestock is of major importance all over Africa, as in many other parts of the world. Artificial insemination has proved to be a good way to get better quality and healthier cattle. <laughs>